Hey basketball players who want to win two-on-two basketball games. Today I'm going to be breaking down a couple of simple plays that you can run and some more advanced plays as well that you can run with your brother, your sister, your partner, whoever. If you want to win, this is the video for you. So of course you could just simply set a screen and roll and then hopefully what you've got there is a player who's open for a shot or a layup or maybe off of that screen player one will drive towards the rim. That is obviously one option, a very simple option, but we're going to get into a little bit more advanced than just that. Let's get down to it. Number one, a dribble handoff is also an option. That's when you've got player one dribbling towards your defender or player two's defender, hands off the ball to player two, player two then attacks the rim, or has player one then rolling towards the rim or popping out for a three-point shot. If he, his man switches off and his man follows him, then you've got player one open for a three-point shot. So this is all very simple and easy, but let's get it down to a little bit more advanced now. You can have player two cut and drive towards the rim and then pop out. Once that happens, player two can get that ball and we can have a simple screen and roll at that point in time. That's another option. Now another option is from here, after player 1 passes that ball to player 2, we'll then have player 1 cut towards the rim, acting like he's calling for the ball. Now after he calls for that ball, he's going to set a back screen on player 2. Player 2 is going to drive baseline. He could get a layup, but... What we're, if this is a strong enough screen, we're going to have player 1 drop off, and if player 1 seals player 2, and sealing is just a simple pivot after that initial screen, and now if player 2 continues to drive or dribble past that rim, he now has player 1 wide open for a layup. Now in this next play, we're going to have player 2 popping out from that post position. Player 1 is going to pass player 2 that ball. Player 1 is going to cut towards the rim and pop out. And now we're going to have player 2 pass that ball to player 1. We're now going to have player 2 set that screen on player 1. And player 1 is going to use that screen. If player 2 is open rolling towards the rim, definitely hit him up. If he is not, let's say they switched off or maybe didn't switch off, whatever it may have been. We now have a back screen on player 1 who is going to use that screen. And now we're going to have player 1 driving on that right side, player 2 driving on that left side, and one of these players are going to get an easy basket. Because what's going to happen is if player 2 switches off, player 1 can then just pass over to player 2 for that layup. If nobody switches off, player 2 covers his man, player 1 is now recovering back to player 1, player 1 is going to have a layup. Now in this next play, we're going to have player 1 starting on one side, player 2 in the low post. Player 2 is going to be popping towards the point, and that's when player 1 is going to pass him the ball. Next, we're going to have player 1 cutting towards the rim. Obviously, that's an option if he's open. If not, he's going to be then setting a screen on that left side of player 2. Player 2 is going to be using that screen, and we're going to have player 1 who is going to be popping... Whether or not that's a switch, it doesn't matter. We want player one to pop. Player one could be open for a three-point shot in this point in time. If he's not, we're going to then have player two. He's going to go and show towards the three-point line. That's going to bring his man out. We're not looking. He's going to be asking for the ball, but he's not going to be looking to receive the ball. Next, player two is going to be then cutting towards the rim. This is going to be a fake out and then back in, hoping that we leave player two behind. If we do, we're going to get player two an easy basket. If it's not, and player two is stuck with him, we're now going to set a screen on this side. Player one is going to be driving towards the rim. Player 2 is going to roll off towards this elbow. The idea here, player 1 may get a layup. If he doesn't, he's going to kick it out to player 2 because what usually happens with this play, player 2 is going to drop off and help out. Player 1 is going to be then following, which then leaves player 2 wide open for a mid-range shot and somebody already there to get that rebound. 
Now, I hope that these two-on-two basketball plays help your team and yourself win more two-on-two games. Before your next two-on-two game, find out who you're going to be playing with and send them this video because I know, I know you can win your next game. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video.